It's activity or challenge time! So, here is what I'm going to do. Your activity is going to be music today. Your music is going to be to sing a song to me. So I want you to uh, get out of your comfort zone, sing a song. If you want to have uh, somebody record it and send it to me so it shows that you did it, I would love it. I would love to get your song. So your activity is music, sing a song. Your challenge is, challenge is a little bit of history, okay? I want you to do me three things that I'm going to ask you for history. First is, in what year? Did Indiana become a state? Second one, in what year did Kentucky become a state? Because we are so close to Kentucky, I'm going to include that. And then, or who was the 20th president of the United States of America? So enjoy your activity and challenge today. Hey guys, it's one of my favorite times. Hopefully it's one of your favorite times. It is special message time. Our special message comes today from Miss Allie. I asked her a question. I said, Miss Allie, can you do me a favor? Can you send a message to my class? And she said she would love to. So here is your message from Miss Allie. Hey guys, it's Miss Allie. I hope you guys are enjoying the wonderful weather we've been having. Um, Get out there, get active. I hope you guys are doing well. I wish everybody well. I miss everybody so much. Can't wait to see everybody. Mwah. Guys, we are on chapter four of Cam Jansen. Let's pick up, see what happens. Cam got off her stool and walked quickly through the clothing department. She's looking for a guard. Eric ran after her. Who is it? What does, what does he look like? Eric asked. It's a her, Cam said as she walked up to the guard in the men's shirt department. I know who stole the shopping bags, Cam told the guard. It's a woman with long, curly brown hair, glasses, and a blue dress with flowers on it. The guard was a very tall man. He looked down at Cam. Didn't anyone call and tell you about the stolen shopping bags, Cam asked? Yes. Well, I know who stole them. It was a woman with long, curly brown hair... Glasses and a blue dress with flowers on. The man smiled. Eric said, I think you should call the other guards and tell them. Cam has an amazing memory. She has used it to solve mysteries just like this one. Guard, guard, someone called. Come over here, please. The guard ran to the man's shirt display. Cam and Eric followed him. A binky's helper was holding a small boy. The boy was crying. He's lost, the binky helper said. The guard smiled at the child and asked, Is your mother or father here? Mama, the boy said. Where is she? Where's she buying? Dirt! Dirt! The Binky's helper said. Why would anyone buy dirt? He must mean potting soil, the guard said. We sell it in our household helper's department. I'll take him there. The guard took the small boy in his arms. The boy looked up at the guard and cried. Let's go! Let's go, the guard said. He took big steps. Shoppers moved aside. The boy continued to cry as he was carried to the household helper's department. Cam and Eric followed them. Don't you want to know who stole the shopping bags, Cam asked. The guard didn't answer. Eric said, he can't hear you. That boy is crying too loud. The guard carried the boy to a table covered with house plants. Next to the plants were watering cans, clay pots, and potting soil. The boy stopped crying. Now can I tell you the whole shopping bag story about the whole shopping bags, Cam asked. Not now. I'm looking for this boy's mother. The boy began to cry again. Let's go, Cam said to Eric. We'll find another guard. As Cam and Eric looked for another guard, the soft music that was playing throughout the store stopped. Attention, shoppers, attention, shoppers, someone announced. For the next hour in our Binky's Happy Feet department, all shoes are on sale for half the regular price. That's right, shoppers. All shoes are on sale. Two men and women ran down the household helper's aisle. Cam and Eric stepped aside to let them pass. Another woman came running toward Cam and Eric. Her coat flew open as she ran. She had one hand on her he head to keep her hat from flying off. With her other hand, she carried a shopping bag. The woman ran right past Cam and Eric. Then she stopped. Which way are the shoes, she asked. Eric pointed down the aisle. Everyone's going that way, he said. The woman thanked Eric and ran off. 
Cam and Eric walked slowly along the side of the aisle as shoppers ran past him. Cam and Eric walked toward an exit. There's a guard, Cam said. And look, look, he's caught her. He's caught the woman in the blue dress. We'll have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. Chapter 5 will be coming up. Do you think that Cam's right? Do you think it's the woman in the blue dress? Only time will tell. That's Cam Jansen today, guys. Homework, guys. We got through our reading. We got through our writing. We got through our math. We got through our read aloud of Cam Jansen. Let's do a homework recap. For reading, we have... Uh, Moses goes to a concert questions found on Google Forms. You have I Ready reading for about 15 minutes. And if you're able to, you have the poem Rip My Favorite T-Shirt. Then, in writing, you have a journal entry, like always. And we're focusing on poems, but I want you to focus on trying to create a very strong visualization using details. In math, you've got the money application problem found on Google Forms. If you're able to, you need to measure two to three items in inches, again, inches. You can find a Google form in math to decide which person was correct in measuring the marker. And you're going to wrap up your math with doing Zern for 15 minutes. For your activity and challenge, okay, your activity is music to sing a song. It could be one of your favorite songs, or it could be a song that you make up. But please sing the song. I would love, love for you to share that song with me. And then your challenge is three questions. Can you name what year that Indiana became a state? What year Kentucky became a state? And then can you name who was the 20th president? That's your homework. All right, guys. This is the start of week four. That puts us on day 10 today. Man, it's flying. We got through our reading. We got through our writing. We got through our math. We did a special guest. We had a special message. And we got an activity and challenge in with a read aloud. That's bringing us to the end of today. So, guys, with that being said, it's time for me to go. Like I say, that's a wrap. See you later.